Mumia's Sugar Company has announced its restructuring operations and changes in management as they try to return the country's largest sugar company back to profitability. The development comes even as the Ministry of Agriculture pumped in 500 million shillings to rescue the debt-ridden miller. The fate of troubled sugar miller Mumias is looking somewhat promising after the board of directors issued stern directives aimed at revamping the highly indebted company. And my board has been looking at how to restructure the company to respond much more positively with challenges. The company has in recent months been entangled in debt claims from farmers who are demanding to be paid about 2 billion shillings. According to the board's chairman, restructuring the top management is one of the options they have resorted to in a bid to salvage the farm's dwindling fortunes. It states that a new structure at the top has been worked out and has been advertised so that it be filled competitively by Kenyan men and women able and willing to drive the company to the new levels. The miller currently controls well over 30% of the domestic sugar market, which the Ministry of Agriculture is keen on maintaining. We have reinstituted the internal audit department, which is now not just internal audit, but risk and, and compliance, because it's not just risk, but the fact that we must also comply with the laws and regulations governing the industry. The firm has been rocked by operational challenges that even saw the company's managing director suspended on grounds of allegedly placing the company in unfavorable trading arrangements. The company is banking on recruiting a fresh team of top managers who will be tasked in driving the business back to sound profitability. For consumers, it will be of great importance since a collapse of the miller could spark major price hikes for sugar in the country.